Good morning. We've come to the last essay. You'll be glad that the reading of interesting essays will be over by the time you will finish this essay. This is an essay by William Hazlitt. Lamb and Hazlitt were friends. Uh, you've read an essay by Lamb. And now you're reading this essay by Hazlitt on the feeling of immortality in youth. William Hazlitt, born in 1778, lived up to 1830. He was an English essayist, philosopher and a literary and art critic. He was best known for his humanistic essays lacking conscious artistry or literary pretension. His writing is noted for the brilliant intellect he reveals. As you see, the writings will become simpler and simpler. On Going a Journey is also a very interesting essay by the same author. But since uh, this essay is prescribed, I think we should go through this essay first and you will uh, feel like reading on going a journey too. Coming to the present essay on the feeling of immortality in youth. On the feeling of immortality in youth is about how youthfulness makes a man invincible. He thinks nothing can stop him. Death is a far-flung thing, which is why he is very confident. Kal kya hoga kise pata? But when one is young, usse hota hai, aaj nahi kal karenge. He believes that there is no death and that he just cannot die. Ek aur baat, death and old age does not have a meaning for the young man. He is mesmerized by the bright glow of life and spends his time merrymaking with gay abandon. The bright yellow of life. Jab jee rahe hai, to it's all green and yellow and happy. And he spends his time in merrymaking. He does not think about serious things. Which is why Hazlitt says that there is this feeling of immortality in youth. The gradual approach to old age is ignored until it is a bit too late when he realizes the value of time and actions. We go on and go on in mad pursuit of things, ignoring the true Ignoring the right till it's too late when we realize the importance of the past time and actions, our input. The saal mein kuch nahi hua, kya kiya? This realization will come very late. 